Hey, 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 what's going on, folks? Long time no see. Today, we're gonna be installing this cute little guy in our new WRX to fix some of that notorious first and second gear slop issues that we've all come to hate since the V8 chassis. And well, nothing has really changed transmission-wise in this car besides some gear ratios, this should just bolt straight on in and fix our problem just like it would in the V8 chassis. Now, a little bit of specifics before we jump into it. Ours came with a factory optional STI short throw shifter package at a cool price of $612. I mean, that's just horrendous. And to be honest, it doesn't even make the throw all that shorter. It feels a little bit clunky to me, but I mean, the shift knob is really, really nice. I don't think I'll ever let anybody here touch the shift knob. It's also one of those things that, you know, 10, 15 years down the road is be, gonna be extremely hard to find, extremely sought out and extremely expensive. So it kinda just makes sense to hold on to it. Well, now that we got all the deets, let's get this thing installed. All right, first things first, unscrew your shift knob. I mean, look, how, uh, how can you possibly hate this thing? This thing is gorgeous. And it feels really nice, and it's heavier than the base one. Okay, once you got your shift knob off, you're gonna put your fingers behind the trim around the boot, and you're gonna pull. Keep in mind, this is gonna come out as one piece with like the phone, change holder, whatever you wanna call it, which also has two clips right around right there. So just stick your fingers under, give it a good pull. And we're off. All right, now let's get to the good part. Once you have your shifter boot off, there's a couple things to notice. There's two 10 mil bolts that we'll be removing. Here's the OEM shifter stop slash reverse lockout, which you can also adjust to reduce some of the slop in fifth and sixth gear. And that's about it. So first things first, Grab a 10 mil and remove the bolts. All right, now time to grab your shifter stop. Slide it over, grab the provided hex bolts and just kind of get them in there finger tight. Now, as you can see, the parent shifter stop is adjustable. So what we're gonna wanna do is start all the way out on the left as much as possible. Now what we're gonna wanna do is find fifth gear. Great, looks like, <laughs> looks like it doesn't want me to get into fifth gear. So instead, I guess we will just find sixth and move the OEM shifter stop so it's touching and then maybe give it just a tiny little wiggle to the left and now without disturbing that, Go ahead and find first, and then move it till it's just touching the shifter rod, and then maybe give it a little bit of wiggle to the left, and get back into neutral. Now you're gonna wanna put some pressure on these. Oh my God. All right, once you have everything tightened down, you're gonna wanna Triple check that you can still get into every single gear. So that's first. Second, we have maybe a little bit too much play on second, so we're gonna move the bottom of this in. Well, the car didn't want to give us fifth in the first place, so let's try sixth. Mm, I think the OEM shift stop must have moved a little bit because sixth feels a little bit sloppier than it was. And also check your reverse. And yeah, as you can see, we fall out of our reverse lockout, so the OEM shift stop is gonna have to be moved back in. And that's just what it takes to install these. It's just kind of a bunch of a trial and error until you get it just right. All right, attempt number three. Let's see. We got first. 
We got second. Car still won't let us grab fifth. We got sixth. And we don't fall out of reverse lockout. So I'm thinking this will probably be great because we can still select every single gear. Well, it never let us select fifth. <laughs> probably gonna have to give it a roll, but everything seems pretty tight. So yeah, let's get it reinstalled and see how she feels. All right, so time to slide your boot back on. All righty. Throw your shift knob back in. All right, once you have everything back on, triple check that you can still grab every single gear. So there's first, let's check the slop. Oh wow, would you look at that. Second, also much better. Sixth, since our car's being stubborn, won't let us grab fifth. Beautiful. And the reverse lockout. Looks like we don't get pushed out of reverse either, so I think we're all set to go. All right. Well, that was really simple. It's just, like I said, a bit of trial and error to get those clearances right. And yeah, this mod is very dirt cheap. And for how cheap it is, I think it is absolutely worth it because shifting is just a lot more pleasurable now. And yeah, I'll leave a link in the description for the parent one we used. We also have tons of brands and options for these and I'm sure all of them will work just fine. Please consider giving me a like and especially a subscribe because we are so close to that 50,000 subscriber mark and I would absolutely love to put out something really special to celebrate that. And as always, you make sure you're having a great day. I'll see you in the next one.